What happens when you decide to watch every horror movie in every horror franchise for the modern era? You start to reevaluate your life decisions. That's what happens. But we did it anyways, with the goal of pitting every franchise up against each other to once and for all determine which franchise is the king or queen of all horror franchises. The only rule we have is that the franchise must have at least five movies. It must of course be horror related and it has to be from the 80s or more recent. Franchises that start out in the 70s but mainly goes through the 80s and newer counts. Starting out the whole shebang, we have the franchises that by far delivers the most boobs, sex, and gore. Wrong turn. We will be going through the franchise all the way up till the remake. Before we, at the end, look at the movie that started it all back in 2003. Wrong turn itself. To finally answer the long last question, was this movie good enough to start a franchise consisting of six movies and a remake? We are so close to answering that question as we take a look at Wrong Turn 6. Now, we are at the worst of the worst. A lot of sex scenes. Wow. This, <laughs> this has... I, I did actually count. Yeah. This movie has five and a half sex scenes. <laughs> Five and a half That's sexes. That's a lot. That is a lot. And then the half I'm counting is the one where they're in the pool. You see some boobies. You see some butts. But you don't see the thingy going to the thingy. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm just so back to what I said earlier about like bad stories needs more sex because of the attention span. Yeah. This is a perfect example because this one has more sex, longer sex scenes, and the story is so fucking bad. Like, stupid! <laughs> once again, like with these movies, we can't really discuss the story uh, because there is no story. Uh, and we don't want to discuss the sex scenes because... Uh, so we gotta just point out all the stupid scenes and stupid decisions because there's quite a few in this one. Is that, actually, this one takes the cake. It does. It does. It really does. Uh, let's start all the way from the beginning. So we start off with a super weird nasty sex scene where some people have sex in a... Like Man-made pool out in yeah, the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Like if that doesn't give you any sort of like infection or like STD, I, STD, I, I have no idea. <laughs> But anyway, they do the mumbo Shibang. jumbo and yeah. um, they s keep going and uh, they get killed pretty fast, of course. And the man, he gets shot with an arrow through the cheek. Hey, death by cheek. Get it? No. But cheeks. Huh? So, yeah, he dies, and uh, that's it. We move on, we see all the friends go into the um, mm -hmm. hotel where they meet the brother and sister that they are taken straight out of uh, Game of Thrones because they are, uh, they they like to to cross swords, I was going to say, but she doesn't <laughs> have a sword. But anyway, yeah, she's, now we're going to come back to how horny she is because, wow, wow, she has... A problem. She, she was desperate the uh, yeah. entire movie. Yeah. But the thing is about this movie is that there, there isn't really anything happening. This is just a, a collage of people dying and having sex. Mm -hmm. There's a couple that finds uh, like a sort of like an altar. Like, oh, you're talking like, about when they go in the basement? Yeah, yeah. And it looks like one of those things where you're like, okay, if you're a chick, you should know. When you go get your paps every few what years, it looks like that. Okay, just picture that. That's what they found in the basement of this place. Okay? And, or if you've given birth, you should know. Okay, what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. I thought it was for giving birth, but apparently yeah. it's for the hanky-panky. Yeah, which is so dumb, okay? How... Uh, they know that they're in a hotel. They went into a secret hidden basement. What's the first thing they fucking do when they find that thing? They hump uh, bones. Yeah, you, it's a sex scene. You see them fucking. Yeah. yeah. So now we also have the same 
question that we had in the last movie mm -hmm. where the hillbillies are afraid or like respecting the i just call him the butler because i don't remember his name the brother yeah. of the weirdos why are they respecting him so much that they almost seem afraid of him I mean, they at one point they got mad at him though. Yeah, they but wanted the, to one of them him, stopped but daughter, but I think it's because they are all they're all family. They're all family. I do get that, but I, f I okay, I might just go on out on limb now, and this is just a theory because I would assume that okay, let's say that they are also family, mm -hmm. which is super weird because they look perfectly fine. Yeah. So I would then would have assumed that they are like earlier like. Yeah. They, 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 it doesn't it doesn't compute no matter how you look at it. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Because... Because uh, why are those three all deformed and fucked up? I don't know. Uh, I could also just say that they look so stupid in this movie. Yeah, they do. Uh, didn't you say that their masks look like they were from the 99th century? Yeah, like I'm that? pretty sure you can buy them there. <laughs> because they yeah. look so stupid. It made me miss how they looked in uh, Wrong Turn 4. Yeah. Because they look pretty good there. And in the first wrong turn, they look pretty damn good. But there's one scene I want to just point out. And this is just like some editing-wise. I just question it because at some point they're like uh, taking a swim in the pool. Mm -hmm. And then one of, they see one of the cannibals. And it pans back to the guy. And then all of a sudden it just pans to uh, the sun in the sky. And I know that many movies does that transition of like yeah th this is the end of the scene let's mm -hmm. just skip to the next morning yeah but it didn't feel natural to skip it to the next morning right there so for me that editing is super weird but yeah. that that's nitpicking that's the least of this right. movie's problems no. let's just skip all the way to the ending because as i said like there's nothing to talk about in this movie no, it's uh fine. then we are having a showdown between the two stupid blonde chicks yep and one of them is Tony, which mm -hmm. is Danny's girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Then you have Sally, uh, her, his relative. They never explain what relation they have. But Danny cares more about Sally now than which is Tony. so weird. It's weird. It's because weird. they portrayed them as like, they were so in love. They were. I felt like they were portrayed to be long-time partners. Yeah. So, but yeah, now Danny has fully embraced his, uh, like... Relatives. Yeah, like his family and all that. And he is more about protecting Sally. And at some point he tells Tony to, to just run. Just run. He's kind of like giving her one last chance to get yeah, away. Yeah, oh yeah. And she does run. But the butler. the butler stops her, like kind of like straight away. Yeah. And she manages to kill him. For how? I don't know. Whatever. She kills him. And then Danny pulls a gun on her and tells her, I've told you to leave. Which is so dumb because she freaking what tried. What the fuck did you miss? She tried to run. <laughs> he missed the entire fight, apparently. And that was like fucking 30 seconds ago. Like, she tried to run. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm gonna just say again, like, the writers? I don't get it. Once again, doesn't people ask why? Doesn't people ask, does this make sense? I don't get it. <laughs> it's not just like one writer writing a story and then someone else says, okay, let's do it. There's lots of people! Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know what? I don't have the energy to, to reach more. I did that the last headache. one, so I'll keep it <laughs> short now. Yeah. But yeah, she she gets killed eventually by the cannibals, though. Mm -hmm. So, And it ends up with... Uh, and this is fucked up. So, in the end of this movie, Danny is now a part of the family. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he turned into a cannibal or not, uh, but... Apparently the cannibals are working in the kitchen at the restaurant. And the mm -hmm. restaurant, do you know what they call the restaurant? What? Tony's Restaurant. Really? I I, if, I, I don't know if they thought like that, that was supposed to be like... Um, like a paying tribute? Like a tribute to, to Tony. But like, 
What the fuck? That seemed more like just spiteful. That, yeah, it's pretty fucked up. Yeah. If you think about and it. And I don't know if they serve human meat or something in the restaurant, but... I'm pretty sure it Anyway, is. like, that. that's how it ends. No, it... No! No! no. no. Oh. He's missing the fucking ending, okay? Wow, yeah, I did. Yeah, I, how I, dare you? I miss don't wanna. I don't wanna. Don't wanna? No, we're gonna. But uh. I don't wanna. <laughs> Okay, so it does end with some hanky spanky again. Yeah, the uh, the horny one. She was yeah. uh, she had her legs uh, chopped off, didn't she? Uh, one of the legs got amputated. One of yeah. them. Okay, yeah, one of them. Yeah. And he will cheers her out after putting these robes on the the hillbillies, and he puts her on that birth whatever thing you want to call it thing. And she's like, I'm so happy. And then... <laughs> she was happy. Yeah, she she was... has tried for one and a half hours to bonk her relative. <laughs> and she finally got to do it. Yeah. I would yeah, be happy ends... too. What? It ends with the hillbillies behind him watching as he's fucking her. Yeah. And that's how it ends. And it that's, ends that's with it his, ends. a close-up of his sex face. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I have a fun fact though. Uh-oh. Yeah, you know the sex scene where, where the the brunette and the guy we talked about it like when they had sex in that altered yeah, place yeah, yeah, and she yeah, got yeah. her legs ripped off. Yeah. So <laughs> apparently, the director of this movie didn't really speak that much English. Oh. So he did approach the couple that was gonna act out that sex scene, mm -hmm. and he basically just said. Uh, Okay, you two kissy 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 sexy sexy oh 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 then you die. What? <laughs> I just walked off. Are you serious? Yeah. <gasps> okay. <laughs> oh, you two kissy kissy sexy 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 oh 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 then you die. Yeah. Ah! That's okay. my only fun fact though. Like I don't have much more to say. <laughs> That's so stupid. That that makes me think of uh... What is that show called? Uh, the the signs or something where uh, she was trying to explain how the her, uh, husband got pinned with the truck, how he died, and she got like oh like, yeah hot dog in the bun. And yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it was uh, yeah. It Similar. Me that. <laughs> yeah, that's scary movie three. I think. Was it okay? Yeah. Yeah. Well. Nice. I I'm out of uh, fuel. I I'm 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 glad we're done with the franchise because we're actually not done because uh, there is a remake. Dun, so dun, dun. for the like original like series, even though like okay, so the thing is we have to mention this before we end it because mm -hmm. as we said, this is the last of the the original franchise. So the timeline is pretty weird. So. If you would look at this in a, like a chronological timeline, mm -hmm. the first movie would be four, the bloody beginnings where you see the flashback and all that. Mm -hmm. Five, six, one, two, three. What? Yeah. It's confusing. Very confusing, but it. it uh, I do remember because we do see that in the last uh, scene with the the third one, uh, three fingers does he dies, but then again there's. Another cannibal coming or he'll be there, whatever. Who the fuck cares though? I yeah. Anyway, I'm done. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I want to watch the remake and let's hope that is good. Yeah, let's hope. Let's pray. <sighs> be done with it.